Yellow spinner, you're on pen stock channel about pen spinning. There are several tutorials for power pass on YouTube, and most of them teach you how to start it in a certain way. Mostly people recommend to start power pass with charge T1. I also started to learn power pass starting with this trick, but today I will show you the best way which helped me to master power pass and make it confidently. The way which makes your learning of this trick much easier. First of all, what's this motion? Because this is probably the most confusing thing about power pass. You let your pen spinning on top of your fingers and keep it moving, pushing it with other fingers. To learn power pass easy, it would be helpful for you to know how to do half tap or full tap. I have tutorial for this trick, very easy, check out the description to learn it if you still haven't. There are two ways to do power pass. First way, I'd call it first step, is mostly for learning power pass. And the second way, second step, for actually using it in combos and freestyles. As it looks better and it is easier to link with other tricks. For learning power pass easier, I would recommend you to use a well center balanced pen mode, preferably with thick body. Weight doesn't really play a big role in that, but momentum does, so it should be heavy at the ends. First of all, take your pen mode off what to your fingers like this. You place index finger a little bit at this one side and thumb a little bit at this side. You need to learn how to do this motion to let pen move on your index finger. Doesn't matter if you drop pen frequently, you just need to get used to this motion to let pen move on top of your index finger. At this point you need to understand how to make this initial point, initial spinning. Because this principle you will use for learning the whole trick on all of other fingers. And getting it is not that easy. You keep your hand palm up and try to make pen spin on top of your finger. When you can do a little spin on index finger, at least half of spin, you can try now to push the pen at this point with your middle finger. At this first step you can push the pen with tips of your fingers, so almost nails. It will be just easier to learn this motion this way. You need to like tap the pen with your fingers to let it spin off your hand. Because you don't need to add more fingers if you are not capable of doing at least two pushes for now. And when you can do at least this, when you can do two pushes, first with the index finger, then with the middle finger and stop the pen with your ring finger, you can try to add ring finger to this motion. At this point you need to understand how the pen spins on top your, of your fingers. They need to be flat, so you keep them what to pen and tap the pen with the tips of your fingers. Spend some time on that, trying to realize how the pen spins on top of your fingers, because power pass is more of a top spin trick rather than finger pass. Pen spins by itself and you just tap it giving it more momentum and controlling it to let it move from one finger to another. When you can do power pass like this, it will take some time, maybe one, two days, depending on the way you learn. And the second way to do power pass is more usable. You start to do power pass holding the pen parallel to your fingers. And this way you don't tap pen with tips of your fingers, you like slightly push it by them, letting it spin on top of them. More straight are your fingers, more pro power pass looks. Mm -hmm. 
soon enough I'm going to make a separate video of how to link Power Pass to different other tricks to implement it in combos and uh, freestyles. So subscribe to this channel for sure if you still haven't and push the bell notification button to not to miss this video. Meanwhile, you can join our subreddit rpenspin to share your progress and how you do Power Pass. And if you have some problems with doing it, you also can ask for help in there. I wish you good luck with all that. May this tell be with you. Bye.